There are rich people. And there are very rich people. The truth is that we have many billionaires in Nigeria, but some are miles ahead of others when it comes to how much they are worth. Some of these individuals are not just the richest people in Nigeria alone, but some of the richest people in Africa. These individuals are business moguls and have become models for the new generation of successful and young entrepreneurs. Several families are calling the shots in terms of wealth in the country, which is based on an annual assessment of wealth and assets compiled. Nigeria has the third highest number of wealthy individuals in Africa. However, Nigeria is ranked 11th based on wealth per capita, meaning the country's wealth is less distributed amongst the population. Nigeria's economy, which is arguably the largest and most vibrant in Africa, is home to super-rich families whose assets and investments are worth billions of dollars. The monetary status of these families makes them influential and powerful in almost all areas of society. Some of these families are built around patriarchs who made their wealth in the early years of Nigeria's history. Today, these families control wealth, the economy, and power in ways only money can. We will look at the richest Nigerian families in 2022 in this video. Stay tuned and learn how these families amassed wealth over the years, some from one generation to another. 25. The Indimi Family When talking about the richest families in Borno State, one cannot leave out the popular Indimi family, which is being led by Mohamed Indimi, the Nigerian oil magnate. Mohamed Ndimi was born into the El Haji Kirindu family on the 12th of August, 1947, in the northern part of Nigeria. He grew up in Majiguri of Borno State with his parents. His father, Al Haji Mamun Kirindu, was a renowned hides and skins trader who sort animal skins from villages around Majiguri. Mohamed Ndimi joined and learned his father's business at a very young age and took over. In 1990, he established Oriental Energy Resources, OER, an offshore oil exploration and production company, and this was the beginning of his venture into the oil and gas industry. He awarded over 470 scholarships in Aqua Ibom State and created a sponsorship program for the University of Uyo's Department of Petroleum and Chemical Engineering. Indimi donated a multi-million dollar international business center to Lynn University in the United States, which was named after him. 24. The Sanomi Family The Sanomi family in Delta State is led by none other than the genius Nigerian geologist and businessman Iho Sanomi. Sanomi Iho was born on the 17th of May 1975 to Dickens Akhanarumu Patrick Sanomi and Mabel Iyabo Sanomi in Agbar of Delta State in Nigeria. He is from a devout Catholic family and the fifth child and first son of his parents. His late father was a retired assistant inspector general of the Nigerian police force. Iko Sanomi commenced his career immediately after his graduation as the co-founder and executive director of Sarian Oil, an oil company with core operations in West Africa. He is a successful Nigerian entrepreneur par excellence. He is a multi-talented man with business interests spread across various sectors, including telecommunications, shipping, aviation, and real estate investments. A versatile young man, Iko Sinomi is also a motivational speaker and philanthropist whose business interest cuts across telecommunications, shipping, aviation, and real estate investments. 23. The Benedict Family Sometimes many people find it difficult to believe that Nigeria is blessed with so many billionaires and millionaires. One of such wealthy sons of the land is Benedict Peters, the progenitor of the Benedict family in Nigeria. Benedict Peters was born in Nigeria on December 5, 1966. Benedict Peters is a Nigerian entrepreneur and veteran businessman. He is the founder and chief executive officer of Adia Group, a leading oil and gas company in West Africa. Throughout his long career, Peters has held executive roles in top Nigerian companies like Gas Limited, Ocean, and Oil Limited. Benedict's brother, Francis, is also listed as the founder and vice chairman of Adio Group. The brothers are responsible for overseeing all operations of the company. 22. The Ibito Family this family currently rests on the shoulder of just one man. His name is Cletus Majubugu Ibito, born on the 6th of November, 1952 in Yumunum, 
Obiofia Atalo and Nui of Ann Amber State. He is a very intelligent and hardworking businessman who succeeded without completing secondary school as he was growing up. He continued his education at age of 48, graduated, and pursued his dreams of becoming a successful trader. Nowadays, he is the head of Ibito Group, a large enterprise that comprises several lucrative businesses that have gained so much wealth for the family over the years. The Ibito Group has remained one of Nigeria's largest auto spare parts manufacturers since 1995 till date. Similarly, the Ibito petrochemical industry has been producing various petroleum-related products since 1996 till now. These ventures and many more are the main sources of the immense wealth of the Ibito family. 21. The Alakaja Family This family is well known because of a great woman, Falarancho Alakaja. She is a powerful Nigerian businesswoman and philanthropist. She was born on the 15th of July 1951 in Ikordu, Lagos State, to the family of Chief L.A. Agbara also in Ikordu. She is an indigene of Lagos State. She is involved in the fashion, oil, real estate, and printing industries. She is the group managing director of the Rose of Sharon Group, which consists of the Rose of Sharon Prints and Promotions Limited, Digital Reality Prints Limited, and the executive vice chairman of Fanfa Oil Limited. Alakaja also has a majority stake in Day Spring Property Development Company. Alakaja Fall Runcho is listed as the second most powerful woman in Africa and is the reason why the Alakaja family name leaves on. 20. The Rabu Family The journey to the richness of the Rabu family began with the late Khalifa Isiaku Rabu, a brilliant industrialist who achieved huge success between the 70s and 80s in Kano State, Nigeria. His legacy got carried on by his son, Abdul Samad Isiaku Rabu, the popular Nigerian businessman who has accrued enormous wealth from profits generated by his company, BUA Group. The BUA Group is a Nigerian conglomerate concentrating on manufacturing, infrastructure, and agriculture. He uses this BUA foundation for his philanthropic activities. These include the construction of a 7,000-square-meter pediatric ward at the Aminu Kanob Teaching Hospital and the construction of the Center for Islamic Studies at Bayero University Kano, amongst several others. 19. The Agwaje Family A list of the most popular families in the Nigerian banking sector would never be complete without a bold mention of the Agwaje family. Segun Agwaje born by parents Chief Julius Kospinu Agwaje, a banker, and Margaret Alabisi Akwaje, a teacher in 1964 in Lagos State. While many people today only know of Segun Akwaje as the chief executive officer and managing director of Guarantee Trust Bank, GT Bank, just a few are aware of the fact that his father, Chief Julius Kospinu Akwaje, was also a banker during his lifetime. They are indeed a family of successful bankers and finance experts. However, it is worth mentioning that Jimmy Agbaje Segon's brother is a popular pharmacist and politician and is also a renowned member of the family. 18. The Ilunulu Family The name Ilunulu has become very popular in Nigeria today because of one man, Tony Ilunulu, and who is an extremely brilliant economist. Tony Ilunulu was born on the 22nd of March, 1963, into the family of Dominic and Susan Ilunulu. Though he originally hails from Anisha Akwu in Anyacha North local government area of Delta State, Ilunulu grew up in the Jos of Plateau State in Nigeria. He is a Nigerian entrepreneur and investor who owns a controlling interest in Transcorp, a publicly traded Nigerian conglomerate with interests in hospitality, agriculture, oil production, and power generation. He came into the limelight in 1997, when he led a small group of investors to take over a small, floundering commercial bank in Lagos. He turned it profitable within a few years, and in 2005, he merged it with the United Bank of Africa. That banking group now has subsidiaries in 20 African countries, the United States, and the United Kingdom. Ilumalu also owns extensive real estate across Nigeria and a minority stake in mobile telecom firm MTN Nigeria, among other assets. 17. The Ovia Family If you own a Zenith Bank account in Nigeria or know someone that uses the bank then, you are somewhat already linked to the Ovia family which is currently led by Jim Ovia. 
Jim Ovia was born on the 4th of November, 1957, to a large family in Agber, Delta State. He is the second son of Obi Ali of Agber Obi, one of the most revered chief of the Agber Kingdom in Delta State. Jim Ovia is the founder of Zenith Bank, one of the largest commercial banks in Nigeria. He had transformed Zenith Bank, which was just a small commercial bank, into a financial service conglomerate and has built an iconic corporate identity for the bank leveraging technology and reliable customer services. He is the chairman and largest individual shareholder, with a stake of slightly more than 9%. He also owns prime real estate across Nigeria and mobile telecom operator Visaphone, which has 3 million subscribers. 16. The Adelike Family the Adelike surname is not foreign to many Nigerians. It is a name that is known across many industries in Nigeria. You have probably heard about it in politics, education, business, religious, but most popularly in entertainment. Adedeji Adelike, born on the 6th of March 1957, is a Nigerian business magnate and president of Adelike University. He is also the chief executive officer of Pacific Holdings Limited. Adedeji Adelike is also one of the former heads of state generals who invested in oil and gas, where he founded his company Pacific Energy. Other members of this family include the popular Nigerian musician, David Adelike, also known as Davido, Aduil Adelike, Sharon, and Ashley Coco, who are already married and bear their husbands' last names. 15. The Danjima Family The story of this family began with General Theophilus Siakibu Danjima. Born to his father Kiru Danjima, who was a peasant farmer and traded in metal parts for farming implements and tools. Theophilus Yakubu Danjima is also a retired Nigerian army lieutenant general who played a key role in post-independence military and political events in Nigeria. He has become a distinguished and highly successful businessman with over 35 years of experience and hard work. General Theophilus Yakubu is also a philanthropist. He has a solid track record of philanthropic giving, which culminated in the establishment of the Danjima Foundation. 14. The Arthur Family The popular Nigerian businessman, Prince Arthur Eze, is currently the father figure of the Arthur family. He is one of the most respected players when it comes to the business of oil production and exploration in Nigeria. Arthur Eze is the chief executive officer of Atlas Oranto Petroleum, he is also a philanthropist and a politician. His traditional title bestowed upon him is Ozai Bandu of D. Abo. He was born on the 27th of November 1948 in Ukbo of Anambra State into a family of Chief and Lolo Eze. He is not only the owner of the largest privately held oil exploration and production companies in Nigeria, but he is also a prince born into a traditional royal family. 13. The Abiola Family there is no way the history of politics can be written in Nigeria without an honorable mention of the late Chief Masha Kashmabo Olawale Abiola, who is popularly known as NKO Abiola. He was said to be one of the richest men in Nigeria and Africa at the time of his death in 1998. The Abiola family has remained wealthy to date because of Chief NKO Abiola's business investments in sectors like transport, banking, publishing, education, finance, and oil. 12. The Adenuga Family Just as you might have already guessed, the figure of the Adenuga family in Nigeria today is no one else but Chief Michael Adeni Agolate Ishola Adenuga, known simply as Mike Adenuga, was born April 29, 1953 to Aloy Mitchell Agbalate Adenuga in Ibadan of Oyo State, Nigeria. His mother, Juliana Oyin Demola Adenuga, is from a royal family in Ijebu Abo of Agun State. He is the chief executive officer of Globacom Limited and one of the richest men in Africa. His mobile phone network, Globacom, is the third largest operator in Nigeria, with 5 to 5 million subscribers. His oil exploration outfit, Kenoil Producing, operates six oil blocks in the Niger Delta. He is the founder of the Mike Adenuga Foundation, an African philanthropic foundation whose main mission is to help Nigeria and other African countries, where the Mike Adenuba group of companies are commercially active permanently to achieve social and economic independence. 11. The Otadola Family Knowing fully well that renowned Nigerian billionaire Femi Otadola is the current leading figure of the Otadola family, 
you should already have an idea of just how rich the Abdullah family is. Femi Otedola, born on the 4th of November 1962 at Ibandan of Oyo State in Nigeria, is a businessman, philanthropist, and former chairman of Forte Oil PLC and importer of fuel products. Ote Dola is the founder of Zenon Petroleum and Gas Limited and the owner of several other businesses across shipping, real estate, and finance. He has recently invested in power generation as part of the liberalization of the sector in Nigeria. Other members of this family include Florence Ifalua Ote Dola, popularly known as DJ Cuppy, Femi Ote Dola, Nana Ote Dola, and Fiwa Ote Dola. The 15 families we've covered so far were listed in no order. However, the next 10 families are listed in order of wealth. 10. The Bindian Family Gabriel Asawari Bindian was born on the 11th of September 1934 to a humble family at Akata village in Edo State. Anyone familiar with Akata town in Edo State would already know the one and only Chief Gabriel Bindian, who is the Asama of Benin Kingdom a title conferred on him by Oba Ekdua II. He is the progenitor of the Bindian family and has established quite a wonderful reputation over the years through his various successful business ventures. One of his sons, Lucky Bindian, was the executive governor of Edo State from 1999 to 2003 while his daughter, Amost, is currently serving as a federal lawmaker. Chief Bindian has a vast business empire which includes a private bank, oil refinery, diamond, gold, and marble mines, a private university known as the Bindian University, a private TV station, a radio station, and a large number of hotels and real estates spread across the globe. 9. The Falawio Family The long history of the wealthy Falawio family started with Chief Abdul Wahab Ianda Falawio, the intelligent businessman who laid the foundation of the wealth that the family enjoys today. Falawio family has Chief Wahab Falawio as a predecessor. He was the founder and pioneer of Yinka Falawio and Sons, which is a business that deals with import and export. Now known as Yinka Falawio Group, it has diversified investments in agriculture, real estate, shipping, and energy. The company is now run by Tund Falawio, son of late Chief Wahab. The Falawio family once had the cement distribution business in Nigeria in their pocket, contributing to their wealth. 8. The Siraki Family Bukola Siraki was born and raised in the city of London born on the 19th of December 1962. While many people know the Siraki family members as successful politicians, only a few people realize that they are also wealthy business experts. Late Alusola Siraki was not just a politician, but also a renowned banker. Similarly, a popular media outlet recently confirmed that the Siraki family has investments in real estate business outside Nigeria. Bukola Siraki has been in politics for over 20 years now. Some of the prominent members of the Siraki family include Alusola Siraki, Bukola Siraki, and Bimisola Siraki. Alusola Siraki was a senator of the Second Republic. He was also the chairman of the defunct Society General Bank. He died in 2012. His son, Bukola Siraki, is the current Senate President of the Federal Republic. Before becoming Senator, he was the Governor of Kwara State between 2003 and 2011. Bukola's sister, Jibamisola, is also a Senator. The Siraki family is one of the richest political families in the country. The family has investments in real estate both inside and outside Nigeria. The family's main source of income comes from various businesses and politics. 7. The Tinubu Family The foreigner of the Tinubu family is Bola Akman Tinubu. He was the former governor of Lagos State. He is one of the richest politicians in the country. Another prominent member of the Tinubu family is his wife, Alaremi Tinubu. She is currently a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Just like the Siraki family in Kwara State, the Tinubu family possesses a priceless reputation in Lagos State, due to their heavy investments in various businesses across the state. Chief Bola Akman Tinubu, the current leader of the family, was the executive governor of Lagos State between 1999 and 2007. Reliable sources claim that his mother was one of the wealthiest businesswomen in Lagos during her lifetime. And before we forget, the wife of Chief Bola Tinubu is currently serving 
as a Nigerian senator representing Lagos Central Senatorial District. With huge success in various businesses and politics, the Tinubu family remains one of the wealthiest in Nigeria to date. 6. The Tejuosho Family The Tejuosho family has been popularly known to produce prominent Nigerians that venture into different businesses, including phone manufacturing, politicians, and also lawyers. A prominent member is Bisoy Tejuosho, who established Teju Industries, which specialized in the making of foams. Other prominent members include Adefan Mileo Tejuosho, who is a trained lawyer, politician, and also a four times Lagos State House of Assembly representing Mushin constituency. Another is Lanner Tejuosho, who is the son of His Royal Highness Oba and Didapo Iduil Tejuosho, the Isle of Oak Ona of Egbaland. Lanner is a medical doctor and also a senator. 5. The Fajriar Okun Family Henry Fajriar Okun, born on July 26, 1926, in Ondo State, is the foreigner of this family. This is one of the silent but extremely rich families in Nigeria, with several investments in various businesses and assets spread all over Nigeria. Chief Henry Olo Day was one of Nigeria's most popular businessmen and industrialists during his lifetime. He founded the Henry Stevens Group of Companies which deals in several businesses like oil prospecting, shipping, insurance, banking, engineering, shiproking, and many more. The Fajmirokun family is one family that doesn't currently feature prominently on the rich list, but their investments still exist in various sectors of the economy. The precursor of this family, Henry Oloyide Fajmirokun, was a trade unionist that later became one of the major Nigerian industrialists and businessmen. Fajmirokun was the one that led the negotiations to establish a merchant bank bringing in First Bank of Boston and later Bank of Boston. He also founded Henry Stephen, a pioneer company in the Nigerian oil industry. It was the first indigenous private oil company to get an offshore exploration license in the country's first ever offshore licensing round of oil prospecting licenses in 1970. 4. The Dantata Family Here is the family that houses the richest man in Nigeria, Aleko Dangodi. However, within the family are the presence of other richer men like Sanusi Dantata. He is a Nigerian entrepreneur whose father was a northern Nigerian trader in ground nuts and cola nuts and a distributor of European goods. He was one of the wealthiest men in West Africa. The Dantata family is without a doubt the wealthiest family in northern Nigeria. The family is currently led by Aleko Dangodi, chairman of the Dangodi Group. He is the richest man in Africa. The family was set up by his late uncle Alhaji Alhassan Dantata who dealt in cola nuts, ground nuts, and other commodities. It was Dantata who set up his nephew Aleko Dangodi in the rice dealing business. Aleko Dangodi proved himself very capable and ambitious, expanding his business interests and turning his dealership into a conglomerate. The Dantata family has also ventured into real estate, they have their estate in the Federal Capital Territory. The other members of the family include Amadu Dantata, son, a politician. Alhaji Abdul Kadir Dantata, grandson. Alhaji Mudi Dantata, son, a successful businessman. Aleko Dangodi, great-grandson and billionaire. Aminu Dantata, son, a businessman. Mamuda Dantata, son, founder of the West African Pilgrims Association and currency trader. Sanusi Dantata, son, a successful businessman. 3. The Akoya Thomas Family One progenitor of the Akoya Thomas family is Prince Malade Akoya Thomas, who was the chairman of CFAO Nigeria Limited in 2015. Seems it is genetically oriented because even his father was the first local staff of CFAO and served the company for a complete 52 years. Most important of all is the family company, the Eleganza Group, which is a conglomerate with interests in the manufacture of plastic products, construction, as well as vehicle importation and sales. The company is now led by his son, Thomas Akoya Eleganza. Other prominent members of the family include Princess Alajumo Kabidmi Akoya Thomas, who is a member of the Federal House of Representatives of Nigeria, where she is representing Lagos Island. 2. The Ebru Family Michael Christopher Onajire of Ebru was born on December 25, 
1930 in Wari, Delta State, Nigeria to Pa Peter Ebru and Madam Janet Amatagar Ebru. He was an educator, philanthropist, businessman, and head of the Ebru organization, one of the largest business conglomerates in Nigeria. He was a major stakeholder and influential figure in the Nigerian economy in the 60s and early 90s. The force behind the popular Ebru organization is Ebru Family. Since 1956, when it was established, the organization has maintained to be one of the largest conglomerates with over 10,000 employees. The organization has diversified business interests, which include shipping, agriculture, aviation, banking, as well as oil and gas. The founder of the Ebru organization is Michael Ebru. Before establishing the organization, he worked at the United Africa Company from 1951 to 1956 before partnering with an Englishman Jimmy Large to form the Labour General Trading Company. In 1957, Ebru began distributing frozen fish in Nigeria. He was a pioneer in this business. He would later form the Ebru Seafoods, a company through which he imported frozen fish and sold them using the back of a truck. The business grew, and he was able to partner with a prominent Japanese firm. Over time, Ebru expanded his business to vehicle transportation, distribution and fruit growing, brewing, construction, and petroleum distribution. Some other prominent members of the Ebru family include Michael's eldest son, Alaragan Oscar Ebru, Alex Ebru, Felix Ebru, Abodin Ebru, and Cecilia Ebru. Alex E. Brew is the chairman of Rudem Motors, and he was an ex-minister of internal affairs between 1993 and 1995. Felix E. Brew was a former governor of Delta State. Before becoming governor, he was the founder of an architectural firm. Cecilia was the former managing director and chief executive officer of Oceanic Bank. 1. The Briggs Family Revered Nigerian statesman Alu Benson Lulu Briggs, simply known as O.B. Lulu Briggs, is the founder and chairman of Moni Pillow Limited, an oil exploration and production company. He was born on the 22nd of May 1930. Chief O.B. Lulu Briggs is one of the richest men in the country. He is the predecessor of the Briggs family and the founder of Moni Pillow Limited, MPL, a private indigenous oil and gas exploration and production company. MPL is located in Port Harcourt, but has offices in Lagos and London. The company is known for its operational efficiency of international standards. The wife of Chief Lulu Briggs, Mrs. Sainai Lulu Briggs, is the Chief Executive Officer of Rachel Hotels Limited. She is a seasoned administrator and an accomplished businesswoman. She worked in the civil service for a year before proceeding to a design research center where she was the office manager. After leaving this firm, she began her sojourn into the financial sector and subsequently business. Chief Dumo Lulu Briggs is another affluent member of the Briggs family. He was the pioneer executive director and chief operating officer of Moni Pillow Limited from 1995 to 2002. He is a trained lawyer and a member of the Nigeria Bar Association. Nigeria has always been a thriving place for business-oriented people. The number of billionaires in Nigeria is a strong indicator of why the country has one of the strongest economies in Africa. There you have it, a comprehensive list of all the richest families in Nigeria with other bits of interesting information about them that you may not have known before. Which family do you think is missing from our list of the richest families in Nigeria? Do not hesitate to leave a comment below. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to get an alert when we release a new video. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.